Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021 here at the Convent of Mercy Academy Alpha. Senator Orrin Hash says, and I quote, graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Yes, it's the beginning of the next phase of their lives, the next adventure, the next chapter. Graduands, enjoy each step of your journey. To all members of the Alpha family, viewers on YouTube, the graduands of the class of 2021, good morning. This morning we are here to celebrate with our graduands as they close this chapter of their lives. They have embarked on their academic journey with the Alpha family over the past five years, guided by their theme, building on the bedrock of truth and mercy. Our graduands lived by our motto, et verum et bonum, to the good and true. True to God, true to each other, true to self. Their academic and social development were shaped by the mercy tradition, which is based on integrity, respect, justice, hope, and joy, as inspired by Catherine Macaulay, the founder of the Sisters of Mercy. There were so many challenges over the past five years, and I'm sure that our graduates can recall times when they felt like giving up. But because of their efforts and the support of their parents, teachers, and so many other pe persons, they were able to endure. It's because of this we're here to celebrate with them on their achievements. We can rest assured that they will stay true to the Alpha legacy as they continue to build on the bedrock of truth and mercy. We do hope that you enjoy our program this morning and we will begin by the playing of the national anthem. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come you who are blessed by my father, Take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. 
I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite, it, and, and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. The word of the Lord. The scripture chosen this morning was not intended to bring fear, but to show the extent to which the virtue of mercy is recognized and valued even at the doorsteps of heaven. Feeding the hungry and giving drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked, visiting those who are sick and in need of support, these are defined as works of mercy. At Alpha, these values are as much a part of your education as your academic training. Your theme, building on the bedrock of truth and mercy, is evidence of this. You have spent, ladies, the last five years doing just that. The Alpha Beginning was defined by the works of Catherine Macaulay, who gave everything to serve those in need. Her legacy was continued by women like Jessie Ripoll, our foundress, and many others who continued in her path. As you look forward to achieving your professional goals, be reminded that mercy and truth must be part of everything you do. Your estimation of your success must never exclude your service to the vulnerable, the weak, the undeserved, underserved, I'm sorry, and those in need. We pray today that you will never forget those works of mercy that you have come to live at Alpha, and that you will take it as a light for others to follow wherever you go. Let us pray. Loving God, as we release our daughters into the world of the unknown, we pray that you will protect them and encourage them to continue the mission of Jesus in the 21st century. Teach them to walk in the very same path he trod. Help them to discern the genuine call of our society for their merciful response. Give them the courage to address the systems and structures that perpetuate poverty in our world. May the vision of Catherine Macaulay and all those who followed her path continue to inspire and challenge them as they serve their brothers and sisters. We pray and ask this in the name of Jesus, the compassionate one. Amen. Sister Suzanne Fraser, Area Administrator of the Sisters of Mercy. Mrs. Herman Metcalf, Chairman of the Board of Governors, our guest speaker, Ms. Crystal Day, Mrs. Callie McMorris, Principal of the Academy, members of the academic, administrative, and ancillary staff, parents, distinguished guests, my sisters of the class of 2021, good morning. The class of 2021 has waited for five years for this moment. Ladies, 
Who would have thought that our celebration would have been above the normal? Truly, this will be a memory we will discuss for years to come. We are so proud that we have made it, and we are thankful that we have the opportunity to celebrate with our Alpha family, parents, and well-wishers. My sisters, I know you share with me the pride I feel today, knowing that we persevered and are standing strong and resilient. We welcome you all, wherever you are, as we roll back the curtains of memories, reflecting on the past years we spent together in sisterhood, closing yet another chapter of our lives and moving towards higher heights. I want to welcome you all, who have been our rock and strength along the way, and celebrate with us today those who have helped us along the path and offered advice, those who listened and prayed for us. We welcome you and we ask that you continue to stand with us as we face the unknown. We are grateful that we are here and are ready to embrace what awaits us. We, the class of 2021, are positive that you will stand with us as we make those strides. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Distinguished guests, family and friends, my beloved sisters, to every beginning, there must be an end. And the present leads us to the brink of the future. This is time's message to us. We celebrate both our arrival at an important destination in our life's journey, even as we fix our eyes on the future, which beckons. It is with a mixture of pride and joy that I rise to speak on behalf of my sisters of the class of 2021. Our beginning at Alpha came first with the exciting rush of discovering that we were selected to be a part of this noble institution. Then after, for a moment, it seemed way beyond us. As we gathered as sisters in the Macaulay Hall for our orientation, where the theme, building on the bedrock of truth and mercy, was handed to us, as the quest for our journey. We knew that we had a lot to learn. We probably did not understand the depth and power of those seven words that were meticulously combined to guide us on our journey to success and fulfillment. But time taught us. The last five years at Alpha were surely not the easiest but it definitely provided us with memorable and electrifying experiences, which we will cherish. From the action-packed Heritage Day, where we had the opportunity to exhibit different forms of our culture, to those exhilarating class parties and the joy of parading behind Mr. King's car in the season of festivity and sports. The most fun we had was during Spirit Week. We were given the opportunity to let our alpha magic shine unapologetically in the memories of our sisters who paved the way for us to be beneficiaries of this reputable academy. The best part of this celebration was, of course, the finger-licking good Sloppy Joe. Each year offered a different experience, but all led us to achieving those core values of the academy. First form was unquestionably one of the most thrilling years at Alpha, from the constant flooding of the downstairs bathroom and 101 when it rains, to rushing to the cafeteria during lunch, to celebrating our first victory together 
on Modern Languages Day. In second form, we embarked on the journey of growth and self-appreciation. We enjoyed retreats, our collaborative banquet and movie day. We strengthened our sisterhood and formed unbreakable bonds. In third form, our entrepreneur skills were nourished and fostered through business basics, where we all created different businesses based on our target customer. It definitely wasn't easy to say the least, but it was worth all the tears, sweat, and energy invested. It taught us how to be resilient, organized, and how to respect others' opinions and thoughts. How could we forget this was the year that Bert, Miss Wiles' infamous shoulder fear fling dance on Heritage Day, and the mini Miss Halfa pageant. Fourth form was the year for focus as we sought to prepare for our careers, but it was also the year when we got our big bad barbecue snapping. When we first heard about this, the excitement we felt was indescribable, but we were armed and ready to promote and support even though many of us knew that after first semester report, our parents might not be so willing to let us out. It was unforgettable and our appetites were open for more. But this was not to be. COVID-19 came and at first we happily left school expecting a two-week break but not so. Despite our disappointment of not seeing each other physically, fifth form was the most special and different year at Alpha. Online classes brought its own challenges, but imagination and creativity allowed us to find our way in ways that we would have never imagined. Be through online classes, parties, group Zoom sessions, or just having lunch over Zoom with our friends. Learning from these experiences, I'm sure all of us will realize that we wouldn't have been able to accomplish anything if we weren't building on the bedrock of truth and mercy. My fellow graduates, we have our respective duties towards society as we embrace and live the principles articulated in the mnemonic DJ Sashai. Discipline, justice, spirituality, academic excellence, service, hospitality, and integrity. We must acknowledge and express gratitude to our heroes who have guided us in our path to development to become through, true alpha ladies by building on the bedrock of truth and mercy. Our principal and our team, we love you. Our coordinators, Mrs. Mutijo, who taught us discipline. You have impacted us to achieve our goals better and avoid temptations. Ms. Davisco, who taught us justice and spirituality through the countless retreats, helped us to have positive relationships, higher self-esteem, and follow a stronger purpose in life. Ms. Price encouraged us to thrive and embody academic excellence. Our fourth form coordinator, Mrs. Martin Thorne, taught us service through the opportunity to donate and visit children's homes, helped us to understand mercy. Miss Barr taught us integrity by motivating us to be honest in the submission of our tests during online school. Now, we're at the end of this chapter of our lives, and we have actualized 
the importance of our theme building on the bedrock of truth and mercy and how it perfectly correlates with the famous words from Dr. Martin Luther King. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. This does not mean that we have accomplished our full potential, but Alpha has prepared us to live up to our motto, ad verum et bonum, to the good and true. Walk good, my sisters. Distinguished guests, my sisters of the class of 2021, a pleasant morning. It is indeed an honor and privilege to introduce to you a woman of excellence, a true Alpha alumna, one who represents those core values of this noble institution. She is an award-winning, best-selling author of nine books and an international certified Christian life coach, corporate trainer, podcaster, and sought after inspirational speaker. As a woman of faith, she believes in servant leadership and she unselfishly uses platforms that God has given her to positively influence and impact lives globally. She is the chief operating officer of Daylight Publishers and founder of the Empowering Girls Club. She started working in a full-time job at age 16 and since then has built a successful career in the public service with multiple certifications in procurement, public speaking, events planning, and supervisory management before launching into full-time entrepreneurship in 2017. She holds a bachelor's in of science degree in management studies and is presently pursuing her master's in business administration. She has been featured on many local and international platforms, including CBS, TVJ, The Gleaner, Kingdom Driven Entrepreneur Podcast, and Top Book Coach to Watch in 2021 by Yahoo Finance. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our guest speaker, a daughter of Alpha, Miss Crystal Day. Pleasant morning to you, students, parents, teachers, to the distinguished guests, and of course, to the graduates here today at the Convent of Mercy Academy 2021 graduation. Listen, I want you guys to just take a deep breath and I want you to put on the biggest smile because guess what? You made it. You made it through a very challenging year. You made it through a year that <laughs> I don't know, the whole world has been on edge. And even with all the changes, you are here sitting at the prestigious Convent of Mercy, celebrating, but also preparing for another journey in your life. I stand here today as a proud alumni, past student of the Convent of Mercy. And I want to just commend the team here for the amazing work that they are doing, but also the, th the team that has decided to go ahead with this graduation so that you ladies sitting here are feeling special. The theme for this year is building on the bedrock of truth and mercy. And as I ponder on the words and ponder on this theme, Today, I want to share with you three, what I believe is the bedrock of becoming a woman of excellence, a woman of influence, a woman of faith, a woman who will go after all that God has for her after leaving this prestigious high school. <laughs> no, let me take you back. It was about September 
2003, I remember sitting in the cathedral, you know, the Holy Trinity Cathedral. My graduation, finally, after five years, leaving this institution. Our guest speaker was Alum Asamba at the time. And I remember sitting in the seats and thinking, one day, I want to stand here and speak to some graduates. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect it to be so quick, right? Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm still young. So in my mind, you know, probably in my late 40s, 50s, you know, that's when I'll be able to be a, a guest speaker here. But look at God. So I want to share with you a three, as I mentioned, practical bedrocks. But I don't want you to forget these things. Even if you forget, you know, who your guest speaker is, I hope you don't. <laughs> but if you do, I really want you to not forget what I'm sharing with you today. Number one bedrock of becoming a woman of excellence is choice. Or we say choices. Listen, as you are here right now, embracing the new change that's coming after leaving fifth form. Some of you are deciding to go to sixth form. Some of you might go to work. Some of you might go straight into university. Or some of you, honestly, just not quite sure what's happening. But what I can challenge you to say is that you will have a choice to make each and every day similarly like you had choices to show up for your exams similarly that you have choices whether you will study or not choices when it came on to peer pressure choices whether you will continue to excel or fail that's what choices will do and I want to challenge you as you are pondering today to remember that the choices that you make after today will determine the steps of where you can go and you will go, who you will be and who you are called to be. When you think about the choices, ladies, I want you to remember that whatever you decide today will actually impact your future. Now, the beautiful thing about choices is that you can always bounce back. You can always bounce back from a bad decision. You can always bounce back even when you don't get it right all the time. But then there comes a time when you have to make a choice to go after all, that, all the dreams that you have in store. So I remember growing up in Maxfield Avenue, again, plagued by poverty, crime, violence, and of course, like many of you sitting here, you had a choice if you're going to stuck in the society and the culture that's around you, or you're going to excel as I know you are all capable of. I tell people all the time, if you attend this noble institution, you are called for greatness. If you attend this noble institution, even from when the first day you stepped in, our motto that says, to the good and the true, adverum et bonum, it has been a prophetical word that has been spoken over your life to determine who you become. Ladies, your choices are the bedrock of your excellence, the impact, the influence, the faith, and who you will become. One thing I would say is that where you are from, no matter what's going on in, the, in your home, doesn't matter what's happening around you, you have a choice to rise. The second tenet bedrock that I want to share with you is character. Yes, I'm sure attending this institution has taught you about character. And we see it all over social media. We see it all over where person's character is not the best. And I'm trying to put it lightly, right? Because here's the thing. The truth of your character is expressed through the choices of your actions. 
in the good book, it talks about, you know, the fruit, what we call the fruit of the spirit, right? And we talk about the kindness, the patience. We talk about the faithfulness, the goodness. We talk about the discipline, the gentleness. Many of us could say the mercy that you need to share with others. Here's the thing. When we think about the bedrock of truth and mercy, we don't see mercy as feeling sorry for others. We don't see mercy as, oh, I'm better than others. We choose to be merciful because we also know that we are flawed individuals and there will come a time that we will need mercy to be up upon us. Ladies, the building, the bedrock of truth and mercy starts with your character. Listen, the truth is a time will come when your character will be tested. And guess what? You, that is what will determine where you go. Because if you are not nice, if you are, <laughs> I, I'm trying to be, you know, polite to say, you know, eat, not evil not sharing evil actions towards others, then you're able to really and truly exemplify what you have learned at this institution over the last five years. Ladies, a character will be challenged. There will be times when you are going to be tested. And they always say, when you squeeze a lemon, right? There's only lemon juice you can get. This deter determine, right, what you'll do with that lemon juice. Will it be lemonade or you'll just be that sourpuss? <laughs> Listen, your character, ladies, is the bedrock, one of the bedrock of displaying truth and mercy, goodness, even after this journey. Then the final tenet is courage. Now, I might take a little longer to talk about courage because here's the thing. A lot of us believe that courage is the absence of fear. And that's not true because every single journey, every single step, every single decision that you'll make in your life, fear will come along. But courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is doing the right thing, even in the midst of fear. They said, feel the fear and do it anyway. Courage is you choosing to be a good woman, to be a kind woman. And here's the thing. I'm not even, I don't even want to use the word woman. I want to say lady. Because as an alpha lady, you are not the norm. As an alpha lady, it means that everywhere you go after today, that you are not just representing you, but you're representing your classmates, you're representing your schoolmates, you are representing this noble institution. And I can say that who I am right now, I must contribute it to the five years of me attending this school. All the doors that are open for me in my, my career, in my professional life, in my entrepreneurial life, even in ministry, I can say there's a lot of foundation that I learned here at this school. How to sit like a lady, how to talk like a lady, how to even in the hardest moments of our lives to know that we can be resilient and know that no matter how much we fall, that we can rise. Why? Because we're Alfarians. Ladies, as we, as I stand here today, I remember sharing at university. Um, I was doing a public speaking course and I was asked to, you know, share for five minutes about a topic. And I decided to share about no greater than my organization. The organization or the institution, I would say, that was very important to helping me and owning my skills and owning my who I am, my character as a, as a woman. And I remember standing there and I said, bowling in front of the university students, 
there are two types of per persons in this world. Those who attended Alpha and those who wish they did. Ladies, you have the privilege of going through this institution, getting one of the best educations through dedicated teachers, through a principal that not just love, but also try to facilitate your growth. Do not leave here today and not build on what you have learned. Do not leave here today and not exemplify the lessons that you would have learned. Do not leave here today and think small of yourself. Ladies, I challenge you to be courageous women, to go after all the dreams that you have in store. There's no dream, right? The Bible tells us, you know, the good book tells us that there is nothing impossible with God. And I can stand here. This young lady that was born in Maxville Avenue, growing up in poverty, growing up, many coming, attending, I remember in seventh grade, attending Alpha had one uniform for the whole year, many times coming to school without lunch money. But I met friends along the way that was able to share their lunch with me, that were able to help me to have my, a great experience here. And it meant that I made a decision. I made a choice, as I mentioned, to not be stuck in where I was born, but to determine, to allow my, my choices to determine where I end up right now. That at a young age of, you know, 30 little, <laughs> that I can be your guest speaker today. Something that I thought was far-fetched. Maybe your dream is not to be a guest speaker. Probably it is to travel. Probably it is to have a family. Probably it is to be the next prime minister. I don't know. But whatever your dream is, ladies, I can tell you that building the bedrock of truth and mercy is just the beginning of who you can become. So all the things that you'll achieve, ladies, is great. But I can tell you the, as I mentioned, the character that you will exemplify after today, being a woman of uh, uh, Alpharian, being a woman of purpose, being a woman of influence in this, not just in this society, but also in this world, I'm challenging you to go after all that God has in store. So I remind you again, the three things. And I know you're a bright lady, so you won't forget, right? Yes, I know. Choices determines where you decide, how you decide to move forward in this life. Your character is expressed through these choices. But then it takes courage to not settle. It takes courage to not just be the normal it takes courage to go after all that you have in store, even when obstacles present its way. Because you are resilient, because you are an amazing, because you are smart, because you are intelligent, because you are beautiful, because you are purposeful, because you are an Alpharian. I wish you all the best on your journey. I pray that even as you enjoy the time here today, celebrate yourself. Celebrate this amazing accomplishment. No matter where you go after today, you will be a woman of influence. You will be a woman that leaves an impact. You will walk out in faith courageously and impact the society, impact your organization, impact your school, Impact your family. Impact your church. Again, because the bedrock is truth and mercy. And of course, to you, I say, express goodness all the time. God bless you. Enjoy yourself. Keep connections with your classmates. You know, keep the social media active. And don't compare yourself. Remember that your journey is determined by your choices, owned by your character, but expressed through the courageous steps that you will make after today. God bless you. It's a privilege to be here. 
Good morning. Good morning. I am Herman Metcalf, class of 1962 and chairman of the board. On behalf of the entire board of directors, I congratulate you all and wish you well in the future. I take this opportunity to commend the principal, Mrs. Callie McMorris, and her team for organizing this graduation ceremony. Different from in the past, but they have done a remarkable job. Now, Catherine McCauley, the foundress of the Sisters of Mercy, left us a great legacy one which celebrates the many values associated with mercy, including service and hospitality. On her deathbed, Catherine gave the instructions to her sisters. When I am gone, go to the community room and be sure to have a comfortable cup of tea. Ever since, Tea has been the symbol of supportive, caring relationships that are at the heart of mercy. On their leaving, our graduates symbolize Catherine's departure in body, but not in spirit. They take the spirit of hospitality to the world and challenge their sisters to continue the traditions of mercy here at the school. The class of 2021 leaves for us a special tea blend that symbolizes blue and gold, truth and mercy to the sisters still here. Today, Crystal Robinson hands on the 2021 tea blend to Shanessa Wallace from the class of 2022. This blend of lavender and chamomile represents wellness and peace needed at this time. And as I close, I remind you to do the necessary to protect yourselves from COVID-19. Vaccinate, follow the protocols, wash hands, wear masks, and maintain social distance. Keep safe and best wishes. Thank you. today the class of 2021 will agree with me when i say that our time at alpha has been a blessed one
And this event, though unique to the time, was the icing on the cake. As we approach our last moments, it is only fitting that we express our appreciation to those who made this and our journey at Alpha an unforgettable experience. We are grateful to our guest speaker, Ms. Crystal Day, a daughter of Alpha, for her commitment to her alma mater. Ms. Day, we were all inspired by your thoughtful, eloquent address. The Sisters of Mercy, our sponsors hold a special place in our lives. We are indebted to Mother Claver and all those women who continue to inspire generations of young Jamaican women. We thank Mrs. Herman Metcalf and the members of the school board whose dedication to Alpha is a driving force in helping to maintain its reputation for providing quality education. Mrs. Herman Metcalf, for the service you have given over the years to your alma mater and for your role in our sermons today, we thank you. We thank all those who helped to make this ceremony a memorable one. Thank you, Mrs. Shellyan Hansen Myers, Mrs. Marlena Mark Palmer, Mr. Jordan Storer, Ms. Raquel Ricketts, and her team. A warm thank you to all our coordinators who nurtured us throughout the years. In first form, Mrs. Maria Mutijo. Second form, Ms. Fonia Davisco. Third form, Ms. Patrice Price. And in fourth form, Mrs. Martin Thorne. We appreciate our form teachers, Mrs. Aldine Matnoff, Ms. Monique Brown, Mr. Ashani Nemhard, Mrs. Karin Shields, Ms. Amika Doheny, and Ms. Trudy Coney, who toiled with us daily to ensure that we made it to the end. You made our burden lighter. Your guidance and commitment to us has brought us here. We thank you for sharing this special occasion with us. A special thank you to Mrs. Tisha Martin Thorne and Miss Stacy and Ba, our beloved coordinators. You presided over us and stood firmly with us through the difficult times this year. We thank you for your patience and understanding, even in difficult circumstances. You encouraged, advised, and showed genuine care and love in spite of our challenges. We applaud you for your excellent work and dedication. Our beloved principal, Mrs. Callie McMorris, we thank you for your love and genuine care that you offer so freely. You have inspired us in so many ways and we will forever remember you with love. A warm thank you to our parents. How can we express our lifelong gratitude to you for journeying with us thus far? We know you will continue to hold our hands and guide us as we strive for excellence. Finally, on behalf of the class of 2021, I wish to express my deep appreciation to our distinguished guests, our friends and well-wishers for coming to share our joy. We look forward to your love and support in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My daughters, my stars, it is my pleasure to send you off in prayer and in blessing. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Father, 
We thank you for your blessing and the powerful light that surrounds our daughters. We pray that your presence would continually shine on them and over them and that you would be gracious to them and give them great peace. We ask you to help them to always know how much they are loved by you. Make them constantly aware that you are with them. Fill them with the faith to know your words are true and that your spirit guides them towards goodness. We pray that they will find full confidence in the security of your love and care for them. We pray that you would give them health physically, emotionally, and spiritually that you would protect them from disease, illness, or any harm to their minds or spirits. We ask you boldly for you to equip them for every single purpose you have for their lives and give them constant endurance to run the race well. And we pray all these things, saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without M. Amen. And I invite our parents to raise your hands over our daughters as we say this blessing over them. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face towards you and give you everlasting peace. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for this portion of our program. And I know that you truly enjoyed it. Now we'll be moving to the next section. We will be making presentations with the diplomas and awards. Stay tuned and ensure that you log on as we continue to celebrate with our graduates. <laughs>